What up, world? It's your woman, Butterfly. This is the day that the Lord has made. Okay? I'm trying to tell you, y'all. This is the day that the Lord has made. I got to tell y'all what's going on because um, y'all need to know. <laughs> Y'all need to know, y'all need to know what's going on. Y'all need to know. Oh. <laughs> okay, y'all. Listen. It's a lot. All right, but I'm going to tell y'all about my re recent shenanigans in the spirit realm. Because cause, uh, when I'm in the spirit realm, God gave me a gift, y'all. He gave me a gift. And at first, I was afraid when I had this gift, okay? I used to be afraid of my gift, my own gift. But now I'm not afraid no more. It's so crazy how you, I can see these devils and these demons in people, okay? Let me tell y'all something. There's a YouTube channel called Emmanuel TV, okay? If you want to know what I be seeing, okay, or what you can see if you uh, become more aware... Go on, go on that channel. And, and, and you need to study your enemy. Okay? Because them demons be telling what they be doing in people's lives. And they live in people's bodies. And it is so crazy how the demon could switch from the person to the demon. It's so freaking crazy, y'all. It's crazy. All right? And I'm going to tell you, when you are in certain, in certain environments, demons try to drive you crazy. Okay? They try to drive you crazy. When you go to school, all them kids that are picking on you, those are demonic spirits. Okay? They're trying to break your concentration. They're trying to um, make you feel bad. You know, you see that they push some of these teens to suicide. You know, they're trying to get you pregnant. They're trying to do anything they can to ruin your life because they see you trying to get your um, education. And they don't want you to be in a position to help anybody. Okay? They want you to be at your low. It's a low. Discouragement. All of that is coming from a demon or demons. And there's all different kinds. There's kinds that live in people. There's kinds that don't have a body right now. So they're just kind of floating around, you know, waiting for somebody to take a drink or waiting for somebody to feel a certain way. Then they can go into that host and um, do something to that person's life or someone else's life. I'm telling you, that's real life. That's real life. It don't, it don't get no real in that. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> Y'all know that I was working in this place that I thought was like a restaurant type, maybe like a bar and grill. I didn't, I, I, I didn't know it was that crazy up in there. Okay, I didn't know, and and it got to the point where I was like, I mean, I just know that was somewhere that God did not want me to be. Okay, now. I mean, like, it's like, it's just, it's obvious. It's obvious. Especially when you start seeing the demons, they come in there with their clothes. The clothes got the eyes on them. Or sometimes they'll have some a shirt on with some blood dripping, talking about, I'm watching you on the back of the shirt. That's a demon wearing that. Because, because the enemy speaks to us in symbols. Okay, that's the reason why there's all these Illuminati symbols everywhere. The Taco Bell sign, the Burger King sign, all of that. We please research symbols. Because that is the way the enemy makes his presence known by symbols, okay? And God does the same thing. The enemy is trying to copy God. It's like a perverted, uh, you know, he's just trying to copy him. He, perver he perverts everything he does and he's trying to copy because he wants to be God, okay? So, let me tell you all what happened on Friday night, all right? First of all, the night before that, uh, there's this girl that works up there her name is her name is uh, it's not her real name but i mean her it's her it's a nickname for her real name okay so her name is lulu as in lucy lucifer that's her name okay and we had gotten to it was it was kind of dead and we had gotten to the discussion i'm just trying to give y'all some insight on what these demons be saying and how you can see how i can see the enemy you can see the enemy you know, uh, it's just it's just more obvious when you actually know that it really is is the enemy. Okay, um, we had gotten to the discussion about 
um, religion and beliefs and stuff like that because you know it was dead so there was really no, no nothing else to do so we all started talking and she started talking about Christ and y'all should have seen the look on her eyes okay it looked it was the enemy okay her eyes got they, they your eyes get a little bit glossy whenever the enemy speaks through you and the way she was talking about Christ she was like Christ was a he was a he was a troublemaker he was he was a troublemaker he didn't want to do things he didn't want to do things their way he wanted to do it his own way that's all he did was walk around causing trouble and I was, it was like she was like foaming at the mouth and I was like um but, but, girl are you okay so you don't believe he was the son of God no he was not why would God send his son here why why would why would God send his son here okay and I'm like to die for the sins of humanity to save us there's power in your blood so there's definitely got to be power in God's blood you know blood is life she was like that is not life blood is not life okay that's ridiculous all right you know what you know what's the, you know what's real you know what's real then she started talking about the African um gods Oshun and all of them uh deities and you know you know I believe that the enemy has put together different stories of him and his top demons to make people um to confuse people okay you got those African gods the Orisha all right then you got the Egyptian gods okay then you got the Greek gods all right when you start talking about more than one God you about to you about to get you about to get confused okay and you start to believe it because he has aligned it with with nature you see what I'm saying so it's like this this is the God of the water that's gonna come up and get you and you know over the uh, um, uh, shore to do this to you to do that to you and this is the God of the Sun and you know this one makes it turn turn winter time and, and this one right here had, had had relations with her brother and now winter and spring is is all mixed up and um, when the flowers come out this one right here it rolls over and you know all that bull crap that bull crap that I failed in sixth grade which I'm so happy because they teach Greek mythology and all this stuff in school but they ain't finna teach that Bible in school they ain't finna teach that Bible in school okay she was like the slaves the slaves the first thing they gave them was a Bible the, the, the first thing they gave them they was throwing the Bible at them and they was no that's not what happened okay they took the Bible from them and took out parts of it and they picked one slave to read certain parts kind of like they do today okay just like they do today they don't want you to read all the other parts, okay? Because and, and and the older generations knew who they were. They knew they were God's people. They would sing songs. If you go look at some of their hymns, they would sing. They would sing about the angels. They would sing about heaven. They would sing about Christ. And the, the slave master told them to stop singing those songs, okay? Stop singing Wade in the Water and stop singing about chariots coming to get you and all that. Stop singing that stuff. We don't want these people to know that they're from the tribe of Judah. We don't want them to know that, that they are God's people okay so just do some research on that but um it's like she really tried to shut down the belief of christ and 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 um we were talking about thanksgiving and and uh she was she, we actually agreed on thanksgiving because of course the enemy knows what he did on thanksgiving okay how he slaughtered the 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 um the indians and and took over the village and called it Thanksgiving. And when I when I, I finished the conversation with, and they called it Thanksgiving, right? And then all of a sudden the DJ, okay, the one that the the hype man DJ that I told y'all about, the one that's that really possessed, he looked at me, he went, and called it like he shot me spiritually, okay? Because I'm in a place where God doesn't want me to be. All right. Now let me tell you how them demons really do, because. Because God gave me so many signs that next day. Okay, that was Thursday we were talking. The next day, I had a horrible day. Everything that went wrong could. I'm talking about, I just had the most horrible day. I'm talking about driving all the way, trying to get home, train stop in front of you. No, not moving. And you got to drive all the way around up back to the next exit and go back down after you've been out all day trying to pick up your friend's dog because your babysitting her dog and, and 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 all this traffic and you know trying to get something to eat at the same time it you know it was a really bad day like sign after sign after sign okay so that was friday evening all right so i was really really agitated before i went to work like i always am like every time i go there i could just start to feel 
like like I just start to feel like I'm getting ready to go somewhere where I'm not supposed to be all right and it's like but I gotta go you know I, 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 I gotta go I gotta go make the money so what do I do you know God has created God always creates a way out y'all he always creates a way he already he always creates a way out I remember one time um, I was at someone's bachelorette party and they had some dancers in there and and uh I should not have went in there I was trying not to ruin the party but Lord knows that I should not have went in there okay and and just three doors down was because it was like a lot of people there was a room where I was supposed to be all right so it was like you could have been in that room the whole time but you wanted to try to fit in and now you've seen all this evil upon your eyes you know and you up here drinking uh shots and stuff so you know you be trying to play play and you really be playing yourself and it hurts so bad afterwards it don't feel good your soul your soul that conviction on your soul is like dang you know i can't even sit up here and lie and say i didn't just do this or i didn't just try to do this you know it's another um demeric against you spiritually you know and you can ask god for forgiveness and all that but but if you keep doing the same thing oh god can see right through you all right he lives in you all right and he's not gonna reside in your temple if you're doing evil he's not gonna stay there all right you're gonna be consumed with the enemy you're gonna be one with with the father of lies period okay so anyway I'm, I'm on my way to to this place and let me tell you how demons drive you crazy okay I'm gonna tell you how demons drive you completely because they try to drive you crazy in there all right I really thought that I was gonna like bartending y'all but I cannot stand bartending I hate it I hate the people hey yelling at you I hate feeling like you know I'm assisting in these people's sickness somehow because they're up here just drinking and drinking and drinking they want they want they want uh, three full shots of Patron, you know the, the shots are twelve. You're paying. Do you know? Do you know you're paying for a sip of alcohol? That's a waste of money. And and people, people that don't even have it, are are paying twelve dollars for a sip of alcohol. Fourteen dollars for a sip of it. Okay. Yeah, you're paying for the convenience. You you not you're paying for more than the convenience. That's a lot of money, okay? For a sip of it. All right? That's why people who have these establishments make so much money at the bar because people up there paying for a sip of drink. <laughs> you want some water? No, I don't want a water, man. Why y'all stop selling alcohol? See? Let me tell you how these dream demons, once they got you in somewhere, they want you to go absolutely freaking nuts. Okay? We stopped selling alcohol at 2 o'clock. Okay? But the owner keep selling it on the side to people that she knows was well, one of the owner's wives okay so when she's not there the people that she know that she sell to on the side because 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 we'll be sometimes we'll be dead up until two o'clock and then all of a sudden when we stop selling alcohol and then all of a sudden people from other bars they'll come from other bars the same people that do it every night will come from other bars and come into that one and be like can i get some alcohol can I get some alcohol, please, 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 let me have some alcohol. And I'm like, listen, I'm not pouring no alcohol. Yo, man, you, you BSing, you BSing, you know, cussing you out because the owner keeps selling it to them. But because you, you don't want to lose your job, you know what I'm saying? I, see, see, I used to go ahead and slide it to some of them, but then my manager going to come over there. Okay. The same one that I told you all about before he who's who's got an extra me now okay because i don't know i think some kind of jealousies have been invoked somehow but anyway he'll come over and be like don't pour no more alcohol you know what I'm saying? or and then a couple days later he'll be like okay he can have some he can have some what do you want me to do all right that's how them demons drive you nuts i'm talking about they be begging and begging and begging for it I'll tip you. I'll give you five dollars extra, please, man. Come on, man. Let me get some shots, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Man, come on. I'm talking about why the bar is packed. You got this one begging for alcohol. This one wants some food, and then this one asks for a regular drink, but then start begging for alcohol. Okay, that was driving me absolute nuts. I'm talking about. There's been times when I just came from behind the bar and just ran into the kitchen. 
Cause I'm like these people, these 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 demonic spirits are in here, and they know they know what you don't like. They know exactly what you don't like, so they do it more and more and more and more. And more. Okay, so on Friday night when I went to work, okay, um, um, I was like, you know what? I I just feel like I always feel like something's gonna happen every night. I always feel like something is gonna happen. All right, I don't like that club environment. I don't like that bar environment. You know, I thought the bar environment would be more of a restaurant type deal, but it's really not. It's the same thing, and it's just like, it's just like I don't want to go. I don't want to go there. Why you gonna go there <laughs> before I go to work, right? So let me tell you, on on the weekends, okay, I am not a bartender, but I'm behind the bar, okay. For one, the customers don't do not know that. So they see me working and they're they're like uh, asking me for stuff, okay? Because they think that I'm a bartender. So that makes it bad. And I have to continuously tell them, listen, I don't, I'm not serving a bar tonight. I'm not serving a bar tonight, okay? I'm not serving a bar right now. I have to keep telling them. What do you, one of them was like, well, what you doing back there then? <laughs> you know, and I'm like, none of your business. You know, it's, I really hate the way bartending makes you feel about people, okay? You, you be back there about to swing. Okay, because you'd be like, people just think they can just disrespect you, you know. I have no idea why people think that. Okay, so, um, anyway, yeah, I'm behind the bar, okay, but I am, I am designated for the servers, okay. I'm making their drinks and their drinks only while the other bartenders are making the drinks for the customers across the bar, okay. So, I'm not making drinks for one person, one customer. I am making drinks for five, for the customers of five servers. Okay, so when them tickets start pouring in, they start pouring in. It's like, I need a sex on the beat. I need a long, I need, a, I need two shots of this. I need 12 shots of this. I need, and I have to make it, okay? And it can get really hectic, all right? That's the reason why I get paid a little bit more than the bartenders. But they make more tips than me. So it all evens out, but I get tipped out by the servers. So it just all evens out to, to what, you know, I think we should just all help each other. You know, I'm not, I'm not saying that they should do my job, but what I'm saying is my position that I had, okay. They had a girl before me. All right. Who did the service bartending. Okay. She left at two o'clock on the dot. All right. And the place stays open till 5 a.m. Okay. Me. I would stay past two o'clock, okay? I would stay until five because after all the alcohol is sold, um, I still, people are people still want food. They still want water. They want Sprite. They want Red Bull. You can still sell stuff, okay? So what I do is, because all the other bartenders just dip from behind the bar too because they get tired of people asking, asking for alcohol over and over again. They get tired of saying, Hey, we don't sell alcohol after two. They get tired of that. So so they just leave from behind the bar. Okay. But I have, I actually have no choice but to stay behind the bar because the servers are still ringing in stuff. They're still ringing in waters. They're still ringing in sodas. You know, and, 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 and before, before I became the service bartender, when the other girl left that too, they would ask somebody else to get that for them. But on Friday night, see, they, they got spoiled. Me helping them spoiled them. Okay. Because on Friday night, they started to complain about me okay saying that i wasn't handing them bottles of water okay now them demons had me shaking so bad on friday night okay because anybody can hand you a bottle of water the other two bartenders are just sitting down you know what i'm saying i am back here because because my manager told me to take orders at the bar because it started to raise the sales see when the other i'm, I'm just trying to get y'all to follow me to see where where i ejected myself spiritually from all this demonic um um torture <laughs> mental torture okay my uh, my before my manager told me okay uh, he told me this not last week to take orders at the bar when the bar closes he said go ahead and go back there and if they still need go ahead and take food orders go ahead and sell um uh red bull go ahead and sell sodas go ahead and do that okay that's what he told me but on friday night when the servers started complaining about me because they saw me over there taking orders at the bar okay and they were like we need bottles of water when this is after two o'clock 
Okay, after after the other service bartender would leave y'all, okay, then one of them went, two of them went and told on me, okay? Told that I was not handing them bottles of water. They didn't say she's not making Long Islands. They didn't say she's not making uh, uh, a blue motorcycles. They didn't say that. They said she's not handing us bottles of water, okay, which anybody can do, okay? So my manager, who was probably extra mad because I was I, I, I was riding with my man to work and I, I was driving and I told my man to text the managers and say that we're on our way because I was listening to some word some really good word and I did not want to stop my word and I also did not want to text and drive so I said babe can you go ahead and text him and let them know that we're on the way and he, he got a text from from the managers got a text from my man about both of us so I think my manager was mad all night Okay, so after this girl went and told on me, okay, the manager comes in my face, all right, and it's like, listen, what's going on? This is it's like 3.30, okay, when the other bartender, service bartender would lead them, okay, he gonna come get in my face and say, what's going on over here? How come they complaining? How come they complaining? I said, I don't know, and I'm up here, the manager's saying this while somebody's saying, hey, 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 I know you hear me, okay? And I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, listen. He's like, listen, okay? Your responsibility is the servers and the servers only, okay? After you already told me to take the orders at the bar. You up here screaming. Your spit is hitting my forehead, okay? And you're like, listen, okay? You're supposed to take care of them and them only, all right? Don't go down there for nothing. Yeah, when he said nothing, his, his spit flew and it hit me right here, okay? So it was like he spit in my face, all right? So... I just said move. I'm, I was like move. Okay, move. All right. First of all, I don't like no man hollering at me. Okay. I didn't grow up with my father, so it actually kind of frightens me. I feel like something's about to happen, and I feel like I need to defend myself. And you need to move. Okay. When I pushed him, he kind of backed up a little bit, and I went and I sat in the corner, and he came from behind the bar and went back in the VIP. Right. Then another server came up to me and she was like excuse me can i please get a bottle of water all right i put my hand in her face and i was like listen don't ask me for nothing else all right i quit okay i quit all right she was like what what do you mean i was like ah, you heard me go ask somebody else all right so i'm sitting in the corner just trying to shake it off okay then the same server gonna come back and tell me what's going on oh now you want to talk off all gently and stuff to me after you just asked me like a man that you need some bottom water i was like don't worry about it just tell all the servers to keep their serve their tip out tonight don't don't ask i'm, I'm finna get out of here I'm, I, I'm out i'm done i'm so done i'm done all right so i saw the servers go up to the manager okay and they were like I, it looks like they were telling on me again or something i have no idea i don't know but he didn't come over there right away because because if he heard that i quit he didn't want to believe that, okay? Because the job that I do up there, okay, it's going to be real hard to find somebody else to do that, okay? Because I be behind that bar sweating, sweating, okay, making these drinks, okay, up here in the kingdom of darkness. That's what that is. It's the kingdom of darkness, okay? Because okay? God don't want me to feel like that, y'all. I'm talking about my heart was pounding. You know, y'all just hear me just telling the story, man. I show that can be mad all over again, okay? But but um, I, I, I believe that God really created a soft palate for me to get up out of there okay because because i was like no okay my, my man has two jobs okay I don't, I don't have to take this okay i don't have to take this <laughs> okay i'm telling you i really don't okay so so um i think they were started to spread the word that tj over there saying she's quitting she's she said she's quit oh y'all them demons was worried they was like she's gonna quit she's gonna stop she's not she's not gonna let us drive her well we, we, we pushed her too hard i could see in the spirit realm that the demons were really worried they were really worried you know and they didn't want me to go y'all they did not want me to go i was like listen i told the manager i said listen can you do my cash out i need i need to do my cash I, first of all i went to one manager because there's three of them there's a husband and a wife and then there's the other guy okay i went to the husband and i was like listen i said your other your other service bartenders because i try not to compare myself to people but i just feel like if you give somebody a freaking inch they want to take a mile if you help somebody you know, they they, they want to drag you through the mud with it, okay? With these demons, okay? So I went up to him and I was like, listen, I said, um, your 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 other bar center, your other bar server, she used to leave at two o'clock, right? And he was like, Yeah. I was like, it's it's almost four o'clock. I said, I'm ready to go. And he was like, I right. 
but he really don't want me to go because he's the one that used to compliment me so much on on um sales going up because when someone comes up to me and say they want some food i don't just ignore them like the other bartenders do i ring in their food okay and i think the service was mad about that too because they're like she's taking our money but the reason why i was doing that was because before when i wasn't supposed to ring in food orders i would tell the serve i would try to track down a server okay and be like uh Listen, this person wants to ring in food, okay? I had one server that was busy twerking, another one that was too busy smiling, okay? So, and then I had one tell me that she don't care, okay? So instead of coming to get y'all or trying to find y'all or trying to track y'all down, I'd rather just ring in the order myself, okay? And after I started doing that, food sales went up because so many people want food, okay? Now, he said, all right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't do anything. He just stayed in VIP you know, talking to the other manager. So I went to the female manager who was already behind the bar because she's also the bar manager. And I was like, listen, can you do my cash out? Can, can you do my cash out, please? I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. She's like, you're not going to stay on help clean up? The other bartenders, the other bar server did not stay and help them clean up, but I stayed and helped them clean up. And 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 they started telling me that I couldn't leave until I, until I cleaned up. Okay? That's what them demons do. I'm telling you, they're trying to drive you nuts. I know this whole story is driving y'all nuts, okay? But it's almost over. Because I'm going to tell y'all, all right? I was like, no, I'm not I'm not going to stay and help clean up. And she was like, what? all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? So she was over there selling alcohol after 2 o'clock, okay? Then when she got done doing that, okay, she she was like, go ahead and ring up your number. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead and ring up your number, right? So I rang up my number, got my cash out, counted it. Then I had to wait on her a little bit more. Okay, because them demons not want me to leave. But while I was waiting on her, the servers were coming up to me. Like, you okay? Are you all right? I was like, listen, I'm fine. Just, 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 just please leave me alone. Okay, please. Don't ask me for nothing. Don't ask me, don't ask me for nothing. Please. All right? They're like, what's wrong with TJ? Y'all know what's wrong with me. Y'all just went over there and told on me about handing y'all bottles of water. And the manager came and got in my face. And I'm not doing this no more. Okay? I'm going to do something else. What God, I'm going to do my purpose. I feel like I'm being counterproductive in the kingdom. Of, 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 of light okay and I'm being productive in the kingdom of darkness okay so so that's what it really was about okay and let me tell y'all when she finally did my cash out okay I was like let me get my keys okay and let me get out of here y'all I, I, I could have sworn like when I was walking out the door and I, I took my mask off because I gotta wear a smoke mask in there because it's so freaking smoky up in there okay when I took my mask off I really really heard a shout I heard a shout in the spirit realm from the angels. It was like, yeah! <laughs> I heard that, okay? The angels was happy. They were skipping. They was playing the keyboard, okay? They was, they was so happy that I just quit that place, all right? And as soon as I got in my car, okay, the enemy caught me, all right? Cause I was I was in my car and I had to wait a little bit, you know? And I'm in my car and not even, not even 10 minutes later, the same manager that came and got in my face is going to be like, he was like, hey, um, uh, you don't want your tip out? And I was like, no, just tell the servers to keep it. And he was like, are you sure? I was like, listen, I obviously didn't do a good, do, do a good job tonight, so I, I, I didn't deserve it. So just tell him to keep it. And he was like, all right, listen, listen, I'll listen. Because this is what the enemy does. He starts shaking in his jaws when he loses his soul, you know, when, when his soul is not doing what he wants it to do anymore. Okay, he's like, um, listen, oh, I'm gonna call you tomorrow. We're we gonna, we gonna all talk when our head is clear. <laughs> I was like, my head is clear, but okay. I'm for real. All right. Hung up. Okay. It was over. And I feel so good. I feel so good, y'all. Because, you know, I just feel really good, you know. I walked away from some money. I walked away from some money. Okay. Because cause, cause when I work there, I make like two something a night. All right, but all money ain't good money. Okay, I don't. I don't want two something tonight. I want some checks with some zeros, lots of zeros. Okay, a couple thousand, thousands. Okay, that's that's what I want. Okay, a, couple, a million. That's what I want. Okay, and I believe that God is putting that together for me. Okay, that's why He sent help. Okay, soft palate for me to land on, and He was like, "Come on," and I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> There's other things I could do, okay? I could door dash. I could clean, okay? I'm fine, all right? The household is fine, okay? I'm not alone. God is with me, all right? 
And so the next day, I was I, I I didn't want him to call me. Okay, I really didn't want him to call me. So I went ahead and sent out a text, and I was like, listen, um, I I said something along the lines of, you know, you got you got you got servers in there drunk, you know, talking to me while they're drunk and yelling, and you know, I'm not dealing with that no more. Um, I believe that after alcohol is sold, all the other bartenders can pass these girls a bottle of water while I am at the bar taking orders like you told me to do. You know, you came in my face and screamed at me about something that telling me not to do something that you told me to do. And I just can't take it no more. It's not a good fit. Okay, I have to resign. Okay. So he called me and he was like, he called me right after he read that text and was like, you know, trying to, first of all, trying to tell me, well, I sat there and I watched you and you was on your phone. If I'm on my phone, it's an emergency. Okay. I'm trying to make sure my daughter gets home. All right, and that's it. Other than that, I'm I can't be on my phone behind that bar. You, I don't, I don't know kind of lie you telling. And, and if I am on the phone, it's probably because they're not ringing in nothing. Okay, so that's dead. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know, um, there was a time when the tickets had a bunch of tickets had came in, but I did not see them. Okay, I didn't, and, and it was like four four tickets. Okay, a mistake. All right, when y'all make a when I make a mistake at work though. I don't need some drunk server howling at me, okay? Especially the one that lets drinks die after I make them because she's in the bathroom throwing up, okay? That's what I don't need, okay? I just need to fix it, which I do because I'm super fast like Spider-Man back there, okay? That's why you're calling me and telling me, well, you know what? How about this? How about this? so you saying you don't want to you don't want to be a you don't want to be the bar server no more? What, what you want to do? You want to go back to serving? No. I don't want to go back to serving because that's not enough money. What you want to do? You want to bartend? What you? No, I'm done with that place. Okay. And he was like, all right, man, I'm going to spread the word because employees are dropping like flies there. Okay. Because they can't handle it. All right. And me, I can handle it, but I know it's not somewhere where I'm supposed to be spiritually. Okay. So last night it's, it's, uh, it's, what is today? It's Tuesday. Okay. Last night at about four or something, I get a text from my manager. Okay, talking about, because this is what the enemy does, you know, whenever you leave him. He wants you to come back and try to throw that bait. That's bait. Bait. Okay, you telling me, hey, I got your tip out from the other night. The, one, the tip out that I said I don't want. Okay, that's bait for you to come back in here and for us to talk about it. And for me to be like, you know, you know, you know, come back to my kingdom. Come on back to my kingdom and work for me and keep serving these people this poison. That's what I need you to do for me and my kingdom so I can lead you to hell, lead your soul to hell. Come back in here and listen to this deaf music. Come back in here and get sick with us. That's what that is. And you know what? I think I'm going to send somebody else up there to get that money because I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because it's actually kind of, it's still tempting for me. Because y'all 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 heard me say how much I was making, but it, right now I'm 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 vulnerable. Okay, so so it's not good for me to go back in there while I'm vulnerable. That's that's what I'm thinking. But y'all, please pray for me. Um, I will keep y'all posted. Okay, about the spirit round venture because because I just want to be an example to my babes about how to kick the enemy out of your life. You know, and and, and I want to tell y'all everything that he's doing and saying and all these devils and demons and you know you can see them especially in that place. There's so many in that place. So many. Okay. I'm telling you, all up in there, male, female, succubus, incubus, doubles, all right? So, uh, let me go ahead and get this kitty pool for this dog. <laughs> I will see y'all in the next episode of the Butterfly Show. Bye, babies. I love y'all.